Hello everybody, this is that Zoo. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 10 HP No Items Challenge. I forget what part this is, but this isn't going to be a full episode. It's going to be a mini episode. It's like five or ten minutes long because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and show that Easter egg. Show that Easter egg, yeah. So it's only going to be five or ten, five or ten minutes, so I'm going to switch out the paracarry and switch my badges a little because these are going to be useless. So we want power bounce. Maybe power, yeah, power rush is going to be useful. Damage dodge. Okay, I think we're ready. So we got paracarry out, because remember, remember that jerk at the end of the last episode? We have to fight him. So that's why I didn't want to go over 40 minutes, so. Eek! Oh, Mario, thank, oh, thank, I mean, aha! And apparently, I, he sounds very different. <laughs> Boy, are you unlucky to run into me again? And now I have a deep voice. Oh dear, this poor child looks very upset. Was he lost in the forest? And apparently I have a different accent. Hey, shut up, shut up! I'm not a lost child. I'm your worst nightmare! Here comes the pain. Who are you, Skull Mageddon? So yep, Junior Troopa fight. You're normally not supposed to fight him until after you beat the chapter, but if you go back after you get the super boots, you can sort of glitch him out and cause him to appear before he's supposed to. Don't think I'm as vulnerable as I was before. Check this out. More power! Must have took lessons from Jeremy Clarkson. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's see how you like the new improved Junior Koopa. Junior Troopa. See, that's why I de-equipped my hammer badger, because those are going to be useless. So I got power bouncing. Power bounce and fun. I gotta remember he does the ground pound now, so I gotta do slightly different timing. So power bounce this is gonna be useful, and paracarry shell, shell shot is gonna be useful too. Build up the damage, and this attack is pretty easy easy to dodge there. Not no not really a lot of thrills. Just keep power bouncing and air shotting away. As you can see, he does have a defense of one. So you can't use Bow, she won't do enough damage. Or I could have used the charge technique I did with Parrot, with Goombario. Could have done that, but I decided this would be safer. Because Mario is going to need to do this a lot. And I don't think I would have had enough time to charge. Plus it's a different strategy, you wouldn't want to see me use the charge strategy every time, would you? I have to mix it up a little so you don't get bored. But yeah, this fight is still pretty easy. Here, should be going down here soonish. Kind of soonish. So, refresh. Uh, no, focus, Mario. Clench your butt cheeks together. Concentrate. Try to fart, but try not to squeeze one out. Wouldn't want to have a brown streak in your pants. That would be no bueno. So, we're going to need to refresh again. The damage dodge here is important. So, and you need to hit all the all the action commands, because if you mess up once, you're more than likely not going to have enough HP to make it. So you need to hit, have damage dodge and all, and you need to hit all the action commands. Good thing they're pretty easy to hit. And he gives you 23 as of level 6 or whatever I am. Yeah. No, darn it, darn it, darn it! Yeah. So I'm going to re-equip my badges. So, what did I have? I forget what I had equipped. I know I had these two. I guess Power Rush Close... No, I had... I had Hammer Stuff equipped. That's right. Well, those are just default, so... Now we gotta get out of this forest. This Forsaken Forest. Forsaken Fortress. Whatever it is. Yep. I'm at the beginning. Oh, I made it out of the forest. I could kiss the ground. Yahoo! Who are you, Klonoa? So if we go all the way back here... Here, we, we go back to... You know how I went back to went back to our house at the very beginning of... Or at, during one point of the interlude episode? That's where we're going to go here. Hmm, hello. We'll talk to everybody later. I'm just, I'm just going to show you the Easter egg here. Because, like I said, you only get this during Chapter 3, not before, not after. You have to do it while Chapter 3 is in progress. So, ah, uh, it's nice to be home. 
da dee da Luigi, where are you? Hello. I wonder how old Mario is doing in this quest. Ma ma mario uh oh I mean, never mind. How did you find this place? So yeah, this is this is Luigi's secret hide. This this is Luigi's secret compartment here. After e after each chapter, starting from chapter three, he'll have a new entry. He'll have new entries in his diary. So after each chapter, you can go here and read a page from his diary. But if you go here during chapter three, you can catch him while he's down here. And it's the only time you'll be able to get this little scene here. Is if you go during chapter three. Sorry about the black lines. Anything wrong? Nothing suspicious in the basement, was there? Sure, Luigi, nothing suspicious at all. Heh. <laughs> nothing suspicious at all. You're clean. You weren't doing coke or anything, were you? So yeah. Like I said, this is a mini episode. I'm gonna I'm gonna work my way back to the mansion, and I'll put up a full episode or two sometime over the weekend. So yeah. See you guys next time.